Hello, hope you're doing great. Welcome to a tutorial on basic workflow of welding in Visual Components OLP. The workflow is as such. We create a weld path, we generate the searches for it, then we validate the path for any problems, and then you can post-process the program and take it to the factory floor. When following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy. And if the download files option appears, you can download the example files. The existing layout has a robot gantry, the robot itself, a workpiece positioner, and also a workpiece. Let's go to program tab, click on the robot, zoom over here, the preset arc or arc welding is selected. Then I go to create the path, go to surface selection mode. You see a green arrow, which is the beginning of the weld, and a red sign for the nozzle, which is at the end of the welding path. Then I click here, and the weld is created. The approach, doing the weld, the approach. If I zoom back, you see that robot here is quite close to the workpiece so I go to auxiliary to the positioner and I select the PAB mode for the positioner you see there is a 45 degrees angle here this looks better now I create the searches using the auto search button what are the searches for the weld well the searches calculate the deviations between the actual workpiece and the CAD model of the workpiece in simulation or then the position of the workpiece on the positioner. It will check for any deviations between reality and simulation and then tries to cover those deviations in the weld path. I'll select on this auto search and you see now next to this weld one statement we have also search two and search three. In the beginning and end of the weld we have the searches now. The searches can be done by the wire, the nozzle, or then a camera or a laser pointer. And that depends what are the equipments we have in the factory. Now that we have the searches and the weld, the idea is to validate the path. So for that, I'm going to go to extras and there is check path. And then over here, you have the path setup panel. And then the path checker panel can be opened from here. If I click on it, you'll see a panel appears here next to the output, and the name is path check. I can check only the selected statement, or then the sequence, or the whole program. Press check. So the whole program is now being checked or reachability problems, joint limits, singularity, and collisions. Our program is 94% OK, but there are a few yellow spots, and that means collision. What I can do is to interpolate our program to check it. No need for pressing play. So you see when I use this slider, it's very handy. The first search is done, some little collision there and some collision also over here. And then we start to do the weld. And at the very end, we also have some collision. These collisions need to be fixed. And after they are fixed, you can take the program to the controller using the post processors. The post processors are also over here. So depending on your brand, you can download or upload robot programs. Obviously, in this case, we want to download the program. But now that we have the program with some issues, I will try to fix a little bit so that you see how that can be done. For example, over here, I am in P10. If I click on P10, then I try to Rotate the robot until some point that there is no collision anymore. So this is good. And what I'm going to do is to go back to the path setup and click on this touch up button. And then I go a little bit forward with the slider. 
this is P11. When I click on it, then P11 is selected over here, like this. And then I'm going to also modify this one. Okay, collision is gone. Then go back to the path setup, touch up. And please note that my collision detection is enabled. That's why you see visually when there is a collision. Not only from here, but also in the 3D world. Then I go a little bit more forward. to P12, try to fix P12, little bit backward, now this is ok, I go to path setup and press teach. Let's go once more, now if I check the program again, You see that the collision that was here is gone now and we are up to 95%. So we are 1% improved. The other way to fix these automatically are the automatic pass solvers. In case you have those solvers activated, the buttons are here to solve the process pass and also to solve the search pass. That's what I wanted to go through with you. Thank you for watching and see you in other tutorials. Bye for now.